revelin' what is inside of my mind I'm on a You guys don't understand what I put into these videos. All right, guys, so tonight we're doing Operation Barbarian, which is a layer two fitness operation tonight. Mission briefing. This mission is all about testing the upper limits of your physical fitness and mental fortitude. It will be a difficult challenge that demands your focus and willpower to complete. Your requirements are that you need access to a gym and the tasks are as follows. We're gonna start off with a quick dynamic warm up of choice. Then we're gonna get right into some push ups. We're gonna do 100 push ups, maintaining strict form. Then we're going to go into 100 barbell deadlifts at 115 pounds. Next up is 100 leg extensions, 75 pounds. Rower machine, 500 meters. Stationary bike for 15 minutes at level 10 plus while trying to maintain at least 90 plus RPM the whole time. Then finishing up with the stair climber for five minutes at a moderate pace. Now, those are the tasks and objectives for this mission. The rules and guidelines. We're going to maintain proper form in all movements. It will be confirmed when you submit these 
AARs when you complete these missions inside the tribe, we always confirm all of this information. So number two, you are allowed to break the 100 rep lifts into as many sets as needed to complete the tasks. Take as long as you need, but be mindful of the time that you have to complete the mission. You are allowed up to 10 minutes max rest between each task, but you have two and a half hours in total to complete this mission. So use your rest time wisely. If you hit muscle failure, it's okay. Take advantage of your rest time and keep going. Got plenty of time to do this. And if you cannot complete all 100 reps with quality form within the mission time frame, it will be an automatic failure. Go recover, train more, and try again later. All right, we got our warm up in. Let's knock out these push ups. 100. Fifty. Doing all this on top of my normal training regime gets pretty difficult, especially when you factor in the, the filming dynamic here, where I am not only doing these missions as a member, but actively creating the guides in the process. I do these missions three, four times before on my own, just normally without filming. And uh, I do all that to kind of just recon the whole thing and, and fully develop the mission. And then we launch it and I do it officially and we get these guides. That's the process. This is going to obviously be the first one. So these, uh, these videos moving forward, these guides moving forward, we should get much more efficient with the process. And uh, you know, everything will just improve. The, the video quality, uh, structure, timing, like everything's gonna get better. Seventy. <sighs> Gonna have to take a little bit, a little bit more of a break on that. That's it. I'm hitting failure quick because I'm hitting failure every day. Eighty five, I believe. All right, that's 100 push-ups. Let's take a little rest, then we're on to deadlifts. Let's do some fucking deadlifts. All right, guys, we've got 100 deadlifts, 115 pounds. Break it up as you need to. Good form.
Got to pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, let's get a drink. Where is my drink? Oh fuck, I love working out at night, guys. There's nobody in my in my personal space, you know, like it's it's nice. More people should well no they shouldn't. Don't work out at night. Because <laughs> I want it to myself. <laughs> Don't come here. Don't show up. Stay home. Stay be fuck y'all. <laughs> if you can if you can get out here at night and work out. It's so nice to have the peace. No, nobody looking at you, judging you. All right, we're at 50. <laughs> 75, I think. Maybe 77. I think I might have snuck an extra one in there. I don't know. I suck at counting reps when I'm doing it. I just like to go and let it just blank my mind out. As you begin to sculpt yourself, you will feel these changes in your body. You'll develop a better connection to certain areas of your body, which then translates into better stability and just mobility in general. It opens up movement that you didn't have before. <sighs> Gotta train, guys. Gotta fucking train. <sighs> There's a few extra. Dude, 100 leg extensions. All right, 75 pounds. <sighs> 25. Sorry, I've not made a lot of content in the last year. I had to take a step back when the pandemic bullshit kicked off and you know, it threw a, a wrench in everybody's game plan, I think. I had to do some adapting. I had to go offline there for a little while to focus on myself, get right with a lot of things. Unfortunately, content just couldn't be the priority. Had to do a lot of other things, you know. Um, but we are back. We are fucking back. Really excited to be creating content for you guys again. And I hope that you really, uh, I hope that you dig this new Warrior Mission format moving forward. I think it's going to be a lot of interesting content, engaging content. It's going to be entertaining the way I'm going to produce it. You know, we're, we're just trying to take everything up to a whole nother level with our content and, and the information that we put out. You guys know that of me. You know, I've, I've done that since day one. I've always tried to one up myself, every single production, every piece of content, everything that we do, I try to do just a little bit better every single time. Hope you guys dig the new content format moving forward. I'm going to put a lot of work into it. And uh, yeah, just continue to uh, <coughs> just uh, to watch our evolution, watch my evolution. Uh, I am a, a walking demonstration and evidence of what the Primal Method can do for your life. And uh, you know, I want you to be skeptical. This is, this is something kind of new. So I get it, you know, I, why, why believe in it? Why believe it's an effective method? Well, I think there's a lot of reasons, but instead of talking about them, and, and telling you about them. I'm just going to live them and let you be the judge. And if at any point along this journey, my results, my actions inspire you to move 
that's all I, that's the whole point man you know if at, at any time i can do that for you my mission is accomplished it's 75 i've been so used to just being in here alone talking to myself in my head <laughs> where i haven't been creating content so now getting back in front of the camera talking to you guys so an adjustment again I was really good at it there for a while and then you know like anything else though you stop doing it shit fades skills are perishable if you don't train them they fade away so we're in here doing the work transparently so the world can hold me accountable i encourage you all to do the same thing <sighs> This is 100 extensions, 75 pounds. Y'all a bunch of actors, always try to act up. But when I hit the gas, you just back up. Break it reverse, now I got you running backwards. Uh. 500 meters, real quick. Y'all a bunch of actors, always try to act up. But when I hit the gas, you just back up. Break it reverse, now I got you running backwards. Uh. Inspiration like a trick. Can't 500, one minute 50 seconds. <sighs> That's a smoker after 300 reps. Quick break. Five minutes or so. Then we got 15 minutes on the bike. I am done waiting on a moment. I am done waiting for hard fucking work. For the stroke of the focus, we can progress faster, but they don't show us the bar. And COVID made us feel like hope in his heart. Shut the world down and turn to the stars. I'm on my phone now. 20 years later, we can open these scars. Digital life flashing before your eyes. Doesn't matter when the moment dies. Automatic with the load of highs. Peaked on a Tuesday. Never suffer. Rather the again side this up with no pride. So I want to show you guys that I'm actually doing this shit. I'm not just getting on here for a couple of spins and getting off just to demonstrate it. We're doing this shit. I'm doing this shit with you guys. Every bit of it. Every fucking ounce of it. So I'm never gonna just tell you to do as I say, not as I do. Everything I say is as I do. So I want you to do as I do. I ain't never gonna recommend anybody do shit that, that I couldn't do myself or wouldn't do myself. These missions are gonna be so fun to put together and develop for you guys. And I want your input the whole way, right? If you had the ability to design a mission, right? With the sole purpose of enhancing your preparedness, which is why all of these missions go by the problem method structure. You know, so if you had the ability to design your own mission and make it as cool and as fun or as challenging as you wanted to, what would you guys do? I get to use my imagination and creativity to create really fun and challenging missions to put myself through to gamify this shit. We're gamifying life and preparedness. Everybody loves to play a game. Everybody loves to get some XP, right? Well, now you can get XP for fucking doing shit that matters. Now you get XP for training your body and your mind. Now you get XP for loving your family right. Now you get XP for going to the range and shooting guns, for going to the gym and lifting heavy fucking weights, training martial arts, different types of combatives, hunting, fishing, hiking, camping, kayaking, whatever the fuck you like to do. If it's in the pursuit of preparedness, you can monetize it. And that can be your lifestyle. If it's something that you love doing, I don't know about you guys, but I just wanna get paid to get prepared. Sounds far-fetched, but it's totally fucking true. And that's what we provide you here at the tribe. I have built a platform where anyone can get effectively prepared for the modern age, for modern age threats, regardless of where you live, what time of day it is, you can apply my method and enhance your preparedness in a very systematic, streamlined, and efficient way the best way that I've seen. Not only can you do that, you can make it your career and you can profit off of it by promoting the lifestyle, living the warrior way, doing these activities, doing the things you love, just by doing the things you love. Document it as I'm doing now, right? I've put together this mission. I've tested it two or three times before I'm even doing this one right now. And I do that to do recon, right? Because I don't know how difficult these missions are gonna be at first. And I've got to make sure that I develop them in a way that are not only going to be challenging, but also not too challenging for the average user, the average member, you know, a newly, a new person to preparedness, somebody who's not been in the gym. You know, we're going to have easier challenges, e easier missions and stuff too. Every mission has its own difficulty level. Even for the advanced level challenges, I got to make sure that they're not too extreme, but also they need to be challenging. So there's a fine line, right? So I can't just throw these missions together and not do them and assign a difficulty level to them when I haven't done them myself to even fucking know. I put these missions together, I come in here and I do it, right? No cameras, no filming, no nothing. I'm just doing as a member would. I'm testing it. Then I come back home and I do an AAR. I debrief, I ask myself, was the weight 
too much? Was it too many reps? Was it too long? Did it require too many varying skill sets? These missions are not just, it's not just fitness guys. Operation Barbarian here is totally fitness oriented, but we're going to have missions for every layer of the method. Like I said, so we're going to have missions that span multiple layers of the method. Some missions might come in here, you know, you might be able to come out and knock them out in, in a 24 hour period of time or five hour period of time, I don't know. We might have missions that you can do in a matter of 30 minutes, but we also might have missions that take three to six months, right? That span across a wide variety of skill sets. Phase one of a mission is to go out in the woods and do some bushcraft for three days. Phase two is to go to the gym, train martial arts. Phase three is to go to the range and shoot guns. And all of that combined, maybe that's built into one mission. Maybe it's three separate missions. I don't know, we'll see how it develops. That's the cool thing about my position in all this is I get to create these things. But again, I want your feedback, guys. I want you guys to give me ideas. There's a structure to it, right? Look at our mission guides. Look at our mission file. You got your briefing, you got your requirements, you got your objectives, rules and guidelines. Once you identify all those parameters for the mission, drop it in a comment, let me know. I'll see if I can put it together and then I'll do it. And then I'll do it again. And then I'll do it again. And then I'll have a good understanding of the mission, the difficulty level I should assign to it. Then we'll put together the guide and we'll launch the mission. And then anybody in the tribe can partake in it. Every single month, your goal should be to get out there and knock out at least one, if not two or more missions bottom line goal is man like if you can at least get out and do one solid warrior mission per month as a tribe member damn it's going to make a huge difference in your preparedness over a, a year or two's time frame and that's just saying you can only do one in a month of course you could do more than that damn man it's great content it'll inspire your friends and your family you'll earn xp right real xp that ranks you in a leaderboard with the rest of the tribe and whoever has the most xp at the end of the year gets to win big ass gear packages sometimes worth thousands of dollars so i don't know about you but having a chance to win gear for free by coming in here and riding a bicycle or doing some deadlifts or going out in the woods and camping or I don't know, whatever. Being able to get rewarded and gain experience at the same time for doing the, the hard things in life, the challenging things, the things that aren't so sexy. Waking up, journaling, morning rituals, cold showers, lifting weights, work, hard fucking work. It makes it fun. If you need an incentive, here it is. This is it. You gain experience, you gain knowledge, you earn rewards, you've got incentives, and number four, you get to monetize it with our affiliate program with the Vanguard. All of our members earn up to 50% recurring commissions. So if you recruit new tribe members, you get 50% recurring commission for the life of that member. So if they stay with us forever, that's yours forever. Our tribe members actually net more money in the end than we do because we have payment processing fees and all kinds of extra shit we gotta pay for. If you, as a tribe member, recruit somebody, you actually get more money than we do. <laughs> so I'm very generous with this program. I want everybody to win. I want this to be a career opportunity for anybody that wants it. This isn't a fucking side hustle. You can certainly make it one, but there's enough meat on the bones. There's enough opportunity on the table for everybody to benefit in a big way and make it a career get paid to get prepared what's better than that kill your fucking job get in the tribe work fucking hard for two to three years do the missions do the do the work right participate in our programs do this fucking work apply the primal method two to three years hard fucking focus and i promise you will have recruited enough tribe members to kill your job and earn your income passively so that you're getting paid when you're sleeping you're getting paid when you're training you're getting paid when you're chilling on the couch watching movies you're getting paid every second of every day passively just based off of the work you're putting in in your own life people love to live through other people man all they need to do is live through the right person that shares the right inspiring actions if you can combine the right action with the right message at the right time to the right person it'll change their fucking life we desperately need leaders to step up in this world all right we're at 14 minutes We got five minutes on Stairmaster. Moderate pace. Quick start. Let's do, let's go level six to start and see how that feels. Oh yeah, we can go faster. Let's bump up to, let's go 10. Level 10. Fuck the clock. Time isn't real. Five minutes, 26 floors.
diatribe. That does it for Operation Barbarian. Let's head back to HQ, debrief, get our AAR in. guys so that does it for operation barbarian hope you guys liked it this is your mission guide if you're not a member of the tribe now is a perfect time to check it out the warrior mission program is just one of the many many different perks and benefits of being a tribe member and so with that being said if you want to get further faster in your life and go from average to savage in your preparedness we'd love to help you do that inside the tribe Check the links down in the description below. If you like this content and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more coming. Everybody acting Catch better than the they appear next. like. Not a bunch of actors. I always try to act up. But when I hit the gas, you just back up. Break your reverse, now I got you running backwards. Uh. Not a bunch of actors. I always try to act up. But when I hit the gas, you just back up. Break your reverse, now I got you running backwards. Uh. One, two, three, demons all in my head. Keep four, five, six guns under my bed Seven, eight, nine, we're for all of my friends Always one step ahead like it's part of my plans Shit, part of my French Why every motherfucker always gotta pretend when, when I look around, I ain't really all that impressed Ain't a dragon in the game, breathing hotter than this Why all these people trying to fake it to make it? Bitches be shaking their cake for some bacon Bro sold his soul to the devil You know that I'm coming to save him Yeah, hop on a lifeboat My flow cold like an iceberg I can sink a ship like Titanic Gigantic Goes out of space looking like I planet Shot the movie just like I planned it Cause y'all a bunch of actors Always try to act up But when I hit the gas, you just back up Break your reverse, now I got you running backwards Uh Y'all about a bunch of actors Always try to act up But when I hit the gas, you just back up Break your reverse, now I got you running backwards